you talk to me a little bit today about uh, your performance individually, you know, overall how you felt about it, and if you could walk me through your race a little bit. Um, you know, the start of the race was kind of rocky. I mean, um, I got on the line, and as soon as I just got down to go to set, it just kind of, the gun went off, and I wasn't even ready. So I just got off to a little strange start, which is <laughs> not usual for me, but has been the case for the past two um, past two races in Louisville. I did the same thing. Um, but then we just kind of started out the race pretty much together, and um, I just really stuck with girls that I knew I could match up with. I ran against a bunch of these girls in high school, and I knew that I was able to match up with them in high school, so I should try to match up with them here. So um, that was mainly the plan, and then I just kind of um, try to maintain my pace. I'm notorious for kind of dying in the middle, so I just really have been working hard on going all the way through, and um, that really has been helping me a lot, pushing uh, continuously through the whole race, focusing on that and really having like um, a song in my head or a phrase in my head that I just really believe in and um, just motivates me to keep going. So um, when it got to about the 4K mark, I just kind of felt like kind of down, but I knew that with all the fans here cheering, um, the home course advantage and everything mm -hmm. with the fans was really definitely a great thing for um, to push me through that last 2K. You were running with uh, Ashley, I think, at, at maybe like 2K and yeah. almost toward the middle of the race, and then yeah. you, you seemed to get a little separation from her at that point too, yeah. didn't you? Um, I didn't even realize that I had um, passed her. Normally when we pass each other, we say something, but I just kind of took the downhill and went around a corner, and she was right next to me. I'm like, oh, okay, awesome, let's keep going. So <laughs> that was how that turned out. You mentioned a phrase or a song or something. What was today's that carried um, you through? Well, every race I write, I, um, write YOLO before. So YOLO is You Only Live Once, and it kind of, I kind of um, had the term before it became popular. So um, that's one thing I really focus on. And then um, last weekend, my mom introduced me to a song, and there's a phrase in there that is, um, Feet Don't Fail Me Now. So I just kind of had that going in my head around 2K mark. I'm just like, okay, feet, just let's keep going, keep on pushing through. And that really helped me get through that last last portion. Do you know, do you know who that song's by? Um, Melanie Amaro. Melanie Amaro, okay. It's not um, a usual song, it's not a very popular song, but my mom showed it to me a couple weeks ago, and I'm just like, okay, you know, this is, so I can translate into this, into my running, so let's just, right. let's just keep using it, and I listened to it before the meet, and I listened to it before last race, so it seemed to help, so. What is it, what's the title of that one? Um, Don't Fail Me Now. Don't Fail Me Now, okay, yeah. okay. Um, in terms of the, the team showing, I mean, you guys want to make a good impression at home here, mm -hmm. and, and it seems like maybe you guys fell a little bit short of where you wanted to finish as a team. I didn't see the final results yet. Um, I honestly haven't seen the results either. Um, I know that in any given race, we all put it all out there for what we um, want to do, and if whatever happens, happens, and we just really just focus on um, improving for the next race. We're not going to... Um, of course, we're going to learn from these experiences, whether they're good or bad, but we're just really going to um, focus on improving no matter what. It's a beautiful conditions today, yes. was it not? Yes, it was a little windy for the warm-up, but I didn't even notice the wind during the race. So. 